So on this video, I am going to show you how to solve for x in different types of equations. So in this first one, the first thing we have to do is look at what needs to be done first. And we have some distribution that we need to do. So we're just going to bring this side down. And 3 times 7x will get us 21x. And 3 times 9 will get us 27. Remember, you have to distribute to both parts. Now we can look at our equation and decide which way we want to go. Remember, we want to get x terms, or variable terms, on one side and numerical terms on the other. I like to keep my x as positive, so I'm going to move the 10x over here, and I'm going to do that by doing opposite of what's being done. The 10x is being added, so I'm going to subtract it. This will leave me with negative 6 over here. 21 minus 10 is 11x plus 27. Now I need to move this number to the other side. So I'm also going to subtract it because that's opposite of addition. So here, these are the same sign. We're going to add them and keep the sign. So 27 plus 6 will get me 33. Keeping the sign will be negative is equal to 11x. Now I need to get x still by itself. So what's being happening here is I'm multiplying by 11. So I'm going to divide by 11. So 33 my, divided by 11 is 3, keeping my negative sign, is equal to x. So that's the first one. The second one we're going to look at is this equation here. So again, we're going to combine like terms. So as I'm looking at this, I've got like terms over here, and I've got like terms over here. So 11x minus 4x, I've got 11 minus 4 is 7 x minus 19, and here I have 1x plus 3x will get me 4x plus 11. Now we're going to do the same thing that we did over here on this one, over here, over this uh, equation. So I'm going to, this I'm going to move my x's this way because I have a bigger positive 7, so I'm going to minus 4x from both sides. So that'll leave me with 3x minus 19 is equal to 11. Moving my number away from my variable, I'm going to add because that's the opposite of what being done. And I get 3x is equal to 19 plus 11 will get me 30. Divide by 3 and x is equal to 10. Remember you can always plug these back into the original equation to check and see if your math is correct. So the next problem we're going to look at has a decimal. So as we look at the problem with the decimal, it's easier if you clear this decimal. Now on the problem that we um, do where we don't have an equal sign, we can't clear it. We have to just combine them together. But in this case, we do have um, an equal sign. So I'm going to clear both sides by multiplying them by 10. And the reason I'm multiplying both sides by 10 is because I have one decimal place uh, after the decimal. So if I had 2, if I had like 43 here, 0.43, I would multiply by 100 to clear the two spaces. But since I only have one on both sides, I'm going to do that. So 10 times 0.4, that will move my decimal place over one place, so I will have 4x. And 10 times 10 is going to get me a negative 100. Here again, the 10 will multiply and move my decimal over. So I will have negative 36x plus 70 times 10 is 700. Now I'm looking at my x terms again, and this side is negative, this side is positive, so I'm going to move this to the other side, so plus 36x to both sides. So this will get me 40x minus 100 is equal to 700. So now I'm going to move my 100 over by doing the opposite of what's being done. And this will leave me with 40x is equal to 800. If I divide by 40 on both sides to clear my x, I can easily cancel out the zeros on the end. So 80 divided by 4 will then get me 20. So x is equal to 20. You could divide 40 into 800, but when the zeros match at the end, you can just cross them out as long as they're right above each other. The next one we're looking at is clearing uh, the fractions with an LCD. 
and we're again still solving for x. So on this one, I'm looking for a common denominator. Now I have 7 on each side, so really I just have to find the common denominator between 7 and 5. I normally start with the bigger number, so 7, then 14, then 21, 28, and 35, which happens to be 7 times 5. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 35, and I like to put it by each term so I can cross them out. So 7 goes into 35 5 times, so I have 5 times my x, plus 5 will go into 35 7 times, and I have 7 times my x. And again, 7 goes in there times 5, and in this side I have 5 times my 1 that was sitting at the top. And I'm writing that so you can see where the numbers came from. So over here I want to combine like terms. It's adding. Everything's positive. So 5 plus 7 will get me 12x is equal to 5. I'm going to divide by 12 on both sides and x will equal 5 over 12. This will not reduce, there's nothing in common, so 5 twelfths will be our answer. We have one more problem to work here, and this is where we're solving for a variable. So in this case, we have h is equal to l times 7g minus mn, and we want to solve this for m. So I want to solve it for this letter m. So I have to figure out where I'm going to start. Because it's inside the parentheses, I need to go ahead and do some distribution. It wouldn't be feasible to divide by this over here because then we'll get a really complicated answer. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take my h is equal to 7lg. I like to keep my variables together so when I multiply the l times this term, I'm going to put it with my letters, and you can put it in any order because multiplication doesn't matter, minus L, M, N, because I have to, have to multiply the L by both terms. So now remember, I have to solve for this letter, so I want to solve for this term first by moving this away, and then divide by anything that's uh, being multiplied on it. So I'm going to subtract my 7LG because it's opposite of what's happening. So minus 7LG, so now I have H minus 7LG is equal to negative LMN. Don't forget that negative sign that's sitting there. A lot of problems lose points because we drop negative signs. So now I still want to solve for M, so I'm going to divide by anything that's not M. So divide by the negative, the L, and the N. What we do to one side, we do to the other. So that will leave us with h minus 7lg divided by negative ln is equal to my m because each of these terms will cancel out.